My name is Thomas J. Dubois. I'm an orthopedic massage therapist and active isolated stretching practitioner. I've been practicing massage for the past 17 years, and I've been practicing AIS for the past 16 years. I came across active isolated stretching the first time early in my career. I was teaching at the Hudson Valley School of Massage Therapy and needed to take a continuing education class so I could recertify. I didn't realize that I would be discovering a technique that I would be using in my career for the rest of my life going forward. After the first two nights of the class, I found that my hips felt amazing. And I've done a lot of yoga and stretching in my life, so I've always known what it feels like to be stretched out, but there was something really different going on here. These days, knowing more about the technique and how it works with the way that the nervous system communicates with the muscle, I can attribute a lot of that feeling I had to that. So knowing there was something to it, I started going down to Florida to learn from Aaron Mattis, the founder of Active Isolated Stretching. I took all of Aaron's classes, and I even got to work in his clinic for a while, so I got to know all of his protocols really well. One of the really neat things about active isolated stretching is that the assessment is also built into the treatment. As you work with a person through their planes of motion, you'll discover restrictions and areas of immobility that can otherwise not be found in a traditional assessment. Active isolated stretching has changed the way that I've been able to work with my patients. My injury clients have been able to get better faster. My chronic pain clients have been feeling better. Active isolated stretching also tends to be used in the treatment of a lot of neurological patients, such as those suffering from Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and other neurologically degenerative diseases that can otherwise not be effectively treated through manual therapy. However, the most common recipients of active isolated stretching tend to be athletes, using it for performance enhancement and for injury recovery, also to prevent injury. Over the course of this four-day workshop, you'll learn over 170 new stretches and exercises to help restore function and mobility to the body. You'll also be able to experience how they feel in your own body as your partners practice them on you. San Mara Costa Rica is a perfect venue to take a class like this. Surrounded by the healing qualities of nature, fresh food, and sunshine, you'll find yourself in an atmosphere incredibly conducive to learning this new technique. Plus, you're just steps away from the beach, which you can enjoy in your free time, not to mention the abundance of great restaurants in our town. I really never realized how incredibly effective AIS can be until I wound up having a really bad case of golfer's elbow myself. I actually tried all of my orthopedic massage techniques and I used to ice it and stretch it on my own as much as I could, but I wasn't able to fully get rid of it until I came across the specificity that's used in the forearm stretches in active isolated stretching. Over the years, we've learned that creating flexibility is less about overpowering tight tissue than it is about convincing the nervous system that it's okay to let go. So we teach people to move into stretches gently, but with exact precision, so that way we can open up muscles as quickly as possible. We're able to introduce very specific angles to our stretches and exercises to not only isolate specific muscles, but also specific parts of those muscles as well. The result is the most thorough approach to flexibility and mobility that I've ever come across. One of the other things that I wind up teaching people, in addition to many new stretches, is also the order to do these stretches in. Over 90% of the stretches that we teach in our active isolated stretching classes can be taught to your clients to do on their own as well. You can really empower your clients to take care of themselves and treat themselves better outside of your clinic. Active isolated stretching can produce results where other forms of flexibility and mobility work have not been able to. Most forms of flexibility and mobility work, most forms of stretching, are based on outdated knowledge. 
Active isolated stretching is based on the most recent knowledge and most modern knowledge that we have available to us about the human body. And all of this knowledge comes from the lifetime of work of my mentor, Aaron Mattis, who is a kinesiologist who has spent the past 40 years developing this technique to get it as specific as possible. Active isolated stretching is the most specific and thorough approach to flexibility and mobility that I've ever come across. AIS can broaden your practice and the people that you're able to reach through your practice and your skills. Assisted stretching is also growing in popularity. Places like the Stretch Zone and the Stretch Lab are popping up in cities all over the country and offering assisted stretching. You can put yourself a cut above the rest of assisted stretchers out there by learning one of the most specific and thorough approaches to flexibility and mobility out there.